Hey yo, little man. Hey. What's going on? So we've got Rich Silverberg here. Hey. Uh, so tell us what you did today. I top 16 at RBT Laurel, Maryland. Okay, and tell me how many players were here. 270? 260 270? something? Something like that? Yeah, it's like yeah. almost 270. It's definitely the third biggest Edison format other than Edison itself. Uh, so, you know, you have the two Nats and then this was the biggest one. And I got top 16 out of 270 and I got a mat to show for it. That's it. I mean, I'm yeah. just saying. But would like some nice prize support, but I got to do better next time. Yeah. That's what you, got, that is. you got some bragging rights. You got some bragging rights. No, I don't you actually. Know. Top 16 is nothing. You now know, listen, New being York. First or last. New, New York, you're going you're gonna to get first, right? I mean, New York people might actually know who I am now, which is kind of sad. I liked being the, you know, the guy behind the curtain that would just come in and like do well. But now it's kind of the cat's out of the bag. Everyone from New York here is like, recognizing me, so. And then after this deck profile, they're gonna see some of your main deck spice. And I'll never play it again. <laughs> That's <laughs> why right. it's spice. Uh, All right, okay, let's, let's see. Into what, let's get profile. into it. Yeah, right. So let's start with the standard stuff. So you have the triple Vayu, obviously, and then triple Sirocco. Um, I have played around two Sirocco. It's just simply not enough. You definitely need the third you either don't see it at all or you're forced to like do something with it that you don't want to do with it and like you're like trying to get out the deck earlier because you don't have it it's also a really nice card to just have in hand sometimes uh, against Blackwing, which is really rampant here. I think every person I talked to played at least against two or three Blackwing decks. Uh, I played against three today. Uh, yeah. So wait, before before we move on, I just want to sure. you know just zoom oh, in for a second. So on we got turbo this pack, uh, turbo pack Sirocco. Yeah, if you look at this card, actually. The attack boost never goes away on this card. It yeah. just stays forever. Wow, man. Um, you it know, also that... doesn't target its selects on this card. So buy your turbo packs. Um, and, you know, people do some weird stuff with them. I've seen it happen, and pretty much everyone knows it's going to the end of turn. So it's not going to work that way. Uh, the other right. two cards that make this deck work are the other two cards you want in the grave, the Plague and the Necro. So right here you have all the cards Wait, you want to mill. What's that? What's that? That Plague. Oh, my yeah, God. Is that I, the blue? Yeah, like... I had a lot of people come up to me. They're like, holy crap, you have the blue Plague or whatever. And I was like, I don't know. I got the black Plague. Like, I'm Shit. dying. So that that looks minty, man. Oh my god. This is, this is the... I did buy it at near mint, but now it's in my deck, so maybe it's LP, but... We sacrifice value for, for bling out here. That's what yeah. a little man's about sometimes, you know? Yeah. I, I'm not a little man yet. I'm like an honorary one, uh, but you're, one you're, day you're I'll, a be there. I'll be there. You're a little man. Um, so those are cards you want in the grave. The cards to get them there are your standard two, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Armor two Greffer. I have to... I've... I've Lab this deck a long time, and I know I've talked to high level players about this deck. And three Greffer is interesting, and you can mess around to build a, with a lot more cards. If you're adding a third Greffer, though, I think you need to do changing more than just dump an Arma, add a Greffer. I don't think it's that simple. Um, and the other Miller is Card Trooper. Um, Card Trooper is a mandatory card. I mean, like, a going second card is really nice when your opponent sets a Raikou or a Hamster and you just attack it with Trooper. Uh, either way, either the Hamster dies, they get the Raikou, and you just pass and force them to pop your Trooper. Or you hit the Raiko and you trade positive with it. Um, the other Millers are Triple Raiko. Uh, and then to go with the Raikos, we have one Hamster. Um, not two Hamster. I played around two Hamster. I actually like two Hamster. But I think two Hamster charge is overkill. And it just puts so much of a separate engine in your deck that isn't really optimal. Like, milling is great in this deck. But it doesn't always win you the game. Sometimes it loses you the game in this deck. Like, sometimes you mill your return and your power cards. And you just can't win after that. And it's like... Yeah. Uh, so milling is good, but it, it's a double-edged sword in this deck for sure. Um, two Caius. Uh, I played with three for a really long time, uh, and, but you start bricking on them when you have three. Uh, like, you don't have Treeborn access, so, like, if you're only playing one hamster, too, especially, like, I think if you up your hamster count, you can up your Caius count and justify it, but one hamster. I, I want to, like, more gas in this deck. I, I didn't want to sit back, make a Caius hit for 24. Like, I'm trying to, like, draw my power cards, win the game. Um, Speaking of power cards, we have Dark Armed, which is a card, I think I summoned this card two, no, two times in the entire tournament. So that's wow. nine rounds of Swiss, and then one round uh, the top cut, and I summoned this two times the entire tournament. Both times I summoned it, it stuck. Um, there are times where I drew this card totally dead, a pitcher for Greffer late game, and there are cards, times where I drew this card and waited on it and waited on it until I knew it would stick, and that's why the two times that I summoned this, I win. I win the game that turn. I could have risked it earlier, played into a bottomless, but I, I don't want to trade for one when I drop Dark Round. I just want to win the game. Yeah. There's a chance I'm, gonna, I, like, I'm not going to use my Millers when I have this, so I don't want to mess up my Dark Count in an unknown way. So I think that's something that people kind of just don't mess around with. They just see Dark Arm and they're like, summon it. Uh, yeah, and then it just gets bottomless, and you're just like, okay, you traded positive, but you just burned one of your win cons. Um, Gores. Uh, mandatory card in this deck, I think. Uh, Gale, definitely a mandatory card in this deck. Uh, really under, under, um, 
spoken about thing in this deck is like summoning a Sirocco, specialing your Gale, pumping it up, and then having your opponent's monster and just attacking for a shit ton of damage, and then making a Stardust or Thaw Ruler or something else like that. Um, I did that a couple times this tournament. It's like you don't trade positive, but like you have a commanding board at that point, and you're up in damage, so it's forcing your opponent to start playing those cards, right? So uh, I was on Sorcerer today. It's the last, uh, you know, one of power card you can call it. Um, it was a really good card. There's another reason why I main deck Sorcerer today. It was the 41st card. Uh, I think it really helps in earlier rounds when you don't know what your opponent's really playing. Um, and the, like some people aren't even expecting Sorcerer. I had a guy summon a Kaiku on me and attack direct, and I only had a Raikou and Trooper and Grave at that point, and he didn't banish either one because he didn't want to make a return play stronger. Uh, yeah, I think banishing Raikou is probably always the right play there. That might have been a feature match. I don't know. Go watch it. I got smoked in my feature match. Um, and then the last monster is the DD Crow in the main. Uh, I have one DD Crow here, and this card is just... There's no matchup. We talked about this a lot today. There's no matchup where you draw this and it's like, it's a completely useless card in this matchup. Like against GBs, you could hit their Darius play. You could hit their Quest play. Um, I'm just naming decks that like you wouldn't traditionally think about. Against Blackwing, which I side this out when I go against Blackwing, but it hits their Blizzard. And sometimes when they summon Blizzard and you crow it, like they're just passing their turn. Like that's the end of their turn. And they just have a little guy on the field, not a little man, a little guy on the field. Not to be confused, a little man. Little men are strong, little guys are not. Um, <laughs> Yeah, let's move on to spells. Uh, every spell in my deck is limited to one and absolutely broken, um, except maybe like MST maybe isn't broken, but it is limited to one. Uh, charge, Rota. So yeah, so another reason that um, I'm on one hamster is because I'm playing charge. And also I think playing charge is another thing that helps when you're playing sorcerer because it gets you access to your light or you could mill a Raikou off of it also. Um, there's plenty of times where I like milled Raikos and I'm like, that's really, I don't want to draw this at anymore, like in the mid to late game at some points. So milling it and knowing I have a Sork in the deck. Uh, it also solves some of the problems of milling your power cards in this deck and then having yeah. no way to win. It gives you another way to win. Sorcerer Banish, top for play, make an eight star or just Sorcerer Banish and sit on it. Uh, so uh, trap cards, we have the cards right here, the two power traps to gain back advantage and momentum. They're pretty much staples, I think in every deck now, including like frogs that used to not run traps like that uh this card is just absolutely broken i think this is like a card that doesn't get talked about enough for like cards that should be banned in this format uh return <laughs> people are like oh dust shoot's gotta go future shoot's gotta go yo return has gotta go uh again watch my future match if you don't think return's gotta go it's that it just shows exactly why that card's too good uh trap dust shoot is trap dust shoot every deck should play it i don't think any deck should not play it uh maybe i'm forgetting something like some dumb deck like monster mash um two deep prison and two bottomless uh this is pretty standard there's so many black wings uh, i've been debating cutting bottomless down to one siding it entirely or siding the second but i think the way the meta is panning out with draw traps and people feel really emboldened with black wings to just really go heavy uh, and push and get these draw traps going and get get to the the big damage i think bottomless is just so necessary i mean there's decks it's not good against but there's decks where it just really wins you the game like glider beasts again is another deck that keeps popping up a lot uh i mean deck and oppression uh this did come up it won me a game uh again, that was james arc i opened with no engine for the deck but i had oppression and fossil dyna uh so i'm like all right screw it i think he's gonna dupe block me so i'm just gonna set the dyna and i'll flip it next turn i'll turn off his treeborn and kill the dupe block uh, and i set oppression um, it was the only back row I had, um, and I wanted to, like, give him some pause for concern. Uh, but then he specialed a swap to start the turn by pitching Treeborn. I oppression it, and then he normal summoned a second swap, sent the Treeborn, and then bounced and passed, thinking that I set a Raikou. On my turn, I flip summon my, um... Fossil Dino, normal summon a Kaiku, attack, banish both of his Treeborns, <laughs> and hit him for, you know, whatever that was, 3k, it was really bad. And then the last card in my deck, I don't call this one the 41st because I actually cut a card from the 40 to play this, is Deck Devastation Virus. Um, I cut Solemn Judgment to play this card. I think Solemn is a really good card. Maybe it'll find its way back into the deck at some point, uh, but right now, I think this card is so good against all these frog decks that are running around. Like, if you walked around the top tables towards the end of the day, you were exclusively seeing, like, Bayou Turbo, Blackwing, and different frog variants. I'll just say that because people are playing the Dream Frog plus like all the Hero Frogs. And there's a few other decks that were like one-offs that were out there. There was like a Light Sworn that was out there. Uh, the Chaos deck was out there. Um, just some other random stuff. I think Fitz topped with uh, Instant Zombies. Love that deck. I might play that deck. Um, this single hand me handily won me a game one against the Chain Burn deck where I flipped it and popped the Morphing Jar in a Cyber Valley before you could flip the Morphing Jar. 
Uh, so honestly, uh, I also talked to one of my opponents who is my value mirror in my future match, and he was main decking an Icarus attack in his value deck. And we talked a little bit during the match, uh, there was no audio, and then a little bit after the match about how like, if you're gonna play a card that requires another to tribute, and you're playing value turbo at least, like I think deck Devi is just better. I have played with Icarus attack, one Icarus tried to play around with it um, in the same slot, in that solemn slot, but the deck Devi, when it resolves against certain decks, the game ends right there. Um, so like, against the frog decks i never actually saw it but i know for a fact if i drew this and james even told me because he saw me mill it um you know if you drew that it wasn't going to be good for me like that's just how it works but icarus attacks what's that going to pop it breaks his dupe block but i'm bringing the dupe block before it happens and then killing things in hand and the knowledge you get is is insane um i'll do quick the extra deck because it's kind of standard um it's just your five uh black wings uh, I never needed a third armed wing. I think like there's definitely lines where people have found that they've needed the third armed wing. I never got there. Um, my synchros, I tell you, I don't know why, but I did not make a lot of synchros at all this tournament. So Army Arm, never made this card once. Cataster, never made this card once today. Brionic, never made this card once today. Goyo, I made this card one time today. Uh, I think that was on the feature match. Black Rose, never made this card today. Dark End, again, never made this card today. Uh, Stardust and Thought Rule I did make actually Stardust a couple times uh, Stardust won me my round 9 like easily won me my round 9 match like he had all destruction cards in his hand and when he scooped he showed me his hand and he's like I, I can't do anything because I need to kill the Stardust but if I use one of these you negate and then my next one can't kill the Stardust because it's not even here uh, Thought Ruler I thought about cutting this for Flamvel or Quizus because of the um, time rules here we're playing end of phase so if you see you're getting close to time you make it to your Quizus and pierce through I ended up making this instead, uh, meaning this instead, uh, and I did actually make it once. Uh, I keep mentioning the same match, but all these things came up in the same match against James Urk. Uh, he saw his hand on a dust shoot, knew he had Regeki break. Um, so I made a thought ruler because he had a Caius on board. So it's like, why should I attack for 100 and turn off the Regeki break when I can attack for more, turn off the Regeki break, and gain 2400? Um, I, I lost that match, but it was a good it was a good match. Um, Colossal, forgot this one, never made this card either. And Chimera Tech, I uh, never made this card either. Uh, I guess this is a sneak preview into the sideboard a little bit. Um, I might cut this card, I don't know. I played against the Machina deck, never drew my Cyber Dragon. So it's like, why am I dedicating a, uh, an extra deck slot? Uh, but then you could say, like, I pretty much made none of these cards today. I've made all of them at one point with this deck, playing on ladder or something like that, but just today was not a synchro heavy day. Um, so sideboard, cyber dragon, this is mostly just coming in against Machina, sometimes going second against other random decks, I'll throw it in there. Um, maybe like Glads, because if I open with this in Gale, I can make a, a Stardust really quickly on them, which is really bad for them to deal with. Uh, I main Crow, but I do side the second one. Um, this is coming in against, uh, the Dream Frog deck, because you, you have so many things you want to Crow, the Treeborns, the, the, um, Fishborgs, the Avarice, uh, I don't think he was on Salvage, but, you know, cards like that. Um, this is coming in strictly the Fossil Dyna against um, Frogs and Amaryllis. Uh, I cited in a few times. Actually, I cited this in against Chamber and Kaiku. This card actually is so good. I put this in against so many different matchups. I put this in against the Mirror Match. Uh, it's really deadly in the Mirror Match. I I didn't play Amaryllis, but this card is super deadly against Amaryllis. All the little man guys love their Amaryllis, but right here, these cards. Yeah, Amaryllis don't like those cards, I'll tell you that. It's, um, it's rough. Rose turns off, Amaryllis turns off. And your Amaryllis is turned off while I'm attacking and trying to banish it. So, I mean, like... And you can't even mark the Rose, like, it back. Yeah, to, no. It's, it it's, back, it's, like, it's, it's hard to deal with. It is hard to deal with. Because there's not, like... There's cards you can decide in to attack over the Fossil Dine and get yeah, around that, but right? nothing but gets over... Getting Kaiku. over Kaiku is hard. People might start uh, side-decking some 1900 Vanillas, maybe some Sabersaurus, and that doesn't fly. Right. Um, <laughs> some top... See, that's, that's for another video. Minecon, this is yeah. in here just for like uh, any other Raikou hamster deck. Um, yeah. I noticed a lot of people, a new trend is people are siding out of their Raikou hamster packages in uh, Value Turbo Mirror matches. I really? wasn't doing much of that today. I like to, I do side out my hamster sometimes because you're kind of just playing a mind game. If I said hamster and it gets Minecon, I'm giving my opponent the plus one, like flip your hamster, get my Raikou. Um, and then also, like, if I set my, my hamster turn one and then pass, and my opponent sets a Raikou turn one and passes, I'm behind now. I'm going to flip my hamster, get a Raikou, go. They're going to flip their hamster, pop my set Raikou, and get their mill. I never get my mill. Um, so I, I side out of the hamster in matches where my opponent also is on hamster. Um, but I keep 
the Raikos in. Um, Lightning Vortex. This is for like random decks like Dragon Turbo and um, I put it in the game against Amaryllis too because it's a, a good way to deal with the Titanials non-targeting destruction and they like to build big boards. And um, what else did I put this in against? I think I actually saw this once against the Blackwing player as well because he was on some... I don't even know what they were called. Some other cards that I'd never seen before in a Blackwing deck, but it seemed like worth it to me. Uh, Soul Release. This was just a card I didn't know. I was having a lot of problems online playing against uh, fairies, and I didn't really know what to sideboard against it. Uh, so I just went with Soul Release because it's just like a generic card that can just banish a ton of things and just get them out of there. Yeah. Um, I'm not too worried about like the D Elk grabbing them back because I play Rykos to get rid of the D Elks and Kaisa to get rid of the D Elks to make it miss timing. Um, just other cards too. Um, that can make it mistiming. Um, Dust Tornado, this came in against the Chainburn player I played against and all the Blackwing players I played against. Um, I don't hold it for the Whirlwind usually. Like if they set one back row and say, go ahead, I will just dust that on the end phase. I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, I'll wait for the Whirlwind. That's what it's in here for. No, it's in here to just get rid of all the back rows, all the Icarus, everything, so. Um, and you can kill it if they're on draw traps and you dust me a draw trap you're getting in the end phase they can't chain so like it's fine uh the second oppression this one he came in once today the second oppression against a cat deck actually um and i so i had two in deck i didn't draw either of them that game but i did 2-0 the cat deck that was round nine that was my bubble match to get into top cut was against a cat deck uh, i put him in a bad position forced him to like overextend and then torrential him and he couldn't come back in that game uh, Starlight Road, uh, I, I think it's pretty clear that this card is like a mandatory card in, in Vayu sides now, like the way Fossil Dyna is. I, I mean, at least in my opinion, I, I don't see how you're not on this card. I tried my body for a little bit. It is not nearly as good. Uh, I use this card against Blackwing, uh, against Gladiator Beast. Um, I don't know. I'm forgetting a ton of stuff because I'm running on four hours of sleep. I was in the hotel room working until 3.15 in the morning, went to bed at 3.45, had to be up at 8 o'clock to get here. Uh, and we still top because, like, how much energy you need to top an event, right? Dude, I mean, it's because you're an animal, man. You yeah. you are a champion. Not that, yet, that, like... not yet. Uh, you know, I think in my tiredness, apparently I missed a line for game at some point in my top 16 match. I don't remember it. I don't recall it the way other people recall it, perhaps. But, uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, anytime this card resolves, I think the game is over pretty soon thereafter. Uh, I did it against the Blackwing player. He tried to uh, Icarus attack me. Uh, I had, had just a monster set and I road set. Um, he uh, had a Shura on board. He, I, he attacked. Um, I deprisoned. Uh, he goes Icarus, I go Starlight Road, so now I keep my Raikou, and I have a Stardust on board. Uh, there's no coming back, really, from that, I mean. Uh, last card on the sideboard, Transmigration Prophecy. Card is actually really good. I think people who say it's not good looked at that one video that, like, had, like, a low amount of games played with it and think, like, oh, it's just not a good enough sample size. I've been playing this card a long time. The sample size that I have personally, it's been really good. I think I told you behind the camera about this, the Gamer's Choice event in New York City. I'm on a bubble game again, the last round of Swiss. Um, I My opponent has Vayu in Grave, uh, active with the Sirocco, and they activate it. I go Transmigration. If I had sent back both the Vayu and the Sirocco, it actually put them on three darks, and I didn't know if they had dark arms, and I was going to lose that. So I just sent back the Vayu, kept them on four darks, and then sent back my Mirror Force. Uh, fast forward a few turns later, I draw that Mirror Force and end up winning the game with it when he tried to attack with the Goyo Guardian. Um, so, I, I mean, it's really good. It also solves some of that problem I talked about where, like, you mill your power cards and have no outs anymore to, like, win the game like where's my return and my burial i milled them and now how am i gonna win uh yeah this solves that it just puts them back in the deck like you can mill this but like milling this is fine because it just means you're gonna draw the other cards instead more likely um so that's the deck profile i went seven and two in swiss i lost um two consecutive rounds i lost uh i think round six it was to james arc and then round seven on the feature match i forget the guy's name i think he's from new york also um, but I've always wanted to say this, hey, yo, little man. I'm not a little man yet, but we'll get there. Any any words of advice? Any things you'd change? Uh, um, I mean, well, I played a standard deck, right? So, like, there's not much to talk about other than what I already said, which was, like, way more detail than you need for a Bayou Turbo deck list. But um, I, I just think 
I drove five hours here and I didn't want to just play a deck that was like really spicy and like had all this stuff in it and like I, we had a friend that brought a rock deck which is like really cool but like I drove five hours like I want to give myself the best chance to win the event so I'm playing a, a, a I guess you can call it like a tier one deck in the format um yeah but cards like this and this which was like you can call them like the spice of the deck like these are against like like this wins games in game one people do not expect these cards in game one like they expect them in games two and three and like they have cards that they sideboard in and out because of these cards but in, in game one these cards are so much more lethal than they are in games two and three um like I, I, if you just think about like all the cards people side in to play around deck devastation virus specifically those aren't there in game one and when you don't have them this card hits a lot harder and this just catches people off guard i actually won a game because uh game one my opponent went to go stack for plague to like go for game and i dd crowed the plague and they literally looked at me they're like oh shit main deck and i was like main deck and uh that was the match uh at that point uh so i think that's it you got any questions for me or anything like that so uh no questions just uh the sign off yeah hey yo <laughs> thanks rich yeah.